Hi Broom, it's Fiona West here. So I'm running to be a Broom Shire counsellor and I've been asked a really excellent question by Jack Cornelius. Um, thank you so much, Jack. And it's a great question that, um, you know, it's a surprising number of people in our community uh, would like to know the answer to, and it is what is the capacity or what, do, what capacity do Shire counsellors have to make changes in Broom? It's a good question, Jack, and um, I thank you for asking it because um, this dialogue and this discussion and this communication helps inform the rest of our community and it makes our whole community healthier. So I can read your question in two ways and the first is that you're asking about the capacity that Shire councillors need on a professional level and a personal um, level in terms of time availability to do the job and that is a good question. So you need to consider these things if you're thinking of running. So um, Jack, I know you're mates with my husband, Kim, and Kim and I sat down and really looked at this a few months ago and made the decision that for me to, if I'm elected, um, for me to have the time needed to commit to the role, to serve my community as a Shire councillor, I will give up one of my part-time jobs. Um, that will mean a, um, like a, a budget cut for our family, um, so to speak, but it's one that we can absorb. So we made that decision. Um, so you do need a bit of time available. There's a lot of reading that comes with the role and you need to be available for things like the council meetings and not just the council meetings, but committee meetings as well. And um, to attend local events and things like that. So it's a considerable consideration in terms of time availability. In terms of your professional capacity, you, you do need some skills to be a Shire counsellor. So particularly, you need to be a very good communicator um, and you, uh, you need to have a bit of experience. You need to understand governance um, and you need to be familiar with strategic planning. Um, and these are just some of the skills that you'll need to run as a, um, or to be an effective Shire counsellor. Um, so, you know, ideally you'd have a bit of experience in the strategic planning. You will be setting long-term objectives for your community in consultation with the community. Um, you need to also, as part of that, be analysing the local government's capacity to deliver your vision that you're setting. Um, you need to be occasionally reviewing policy, looking at budgets. So there's a bit of, there's a skill set that, that you will need to be really effective. So there's that, and that's the first, um, my first interpretation of your question in terms of what capacity does a local councillor need to do the job well. So the second way I can interpret that question about what capacity do shy councillors have to make changes in Broome is that I think you could be asking, what can we really do that is effective? What changes can we actually make? And the short answer to that is um, we can have an impact. You can do good as a Shire councillor. So at, the, it is, at its most basic level, a Shire councillor works as um, the member of the team um, in consultation with the community to shape the future of the Shire, the future direction. So it means we need to pass on um, electors' views and concerns at the Shire Council meetings to ensure that that um, community sentiment is heard and addressed. That's one aspect of it. Um, and we also, with that community consultation guiding us, we need to develop the whole vision for the community and then the strategies that will, um, that will see that vision carried out. So um, the key word in all of this is consultation. And councillors, need, they need to stay in touch, they need to be excellent communicators um, and they need to really engage with the community. And not just a one-off tick the box you know, exercise with engagement, they need to be doing it um, in an ongoing manner. And the reason for that is that community sentiment changes over time. So you need to be, you need to be engaged and in touch. So um, it's a great question, Jack, and there's a lot more to it. If you want more detail on this, you can go to the um, Department of Local Government website. So that is, um, it's www.dlg sc.gov.au and you go to the local government section of the website there um, and it gives you a lot more detail about the roles, the responsibilities, the skill set needed for local councillors, um, their capacity and then what it is that they can do for their community. So thanks so much Jack for the question. 
Great question. And um, by the way, Kim said that you might have some Harry Potter books. Harry Potter books, Jack, that we could lend off you for the kids. Just thought I'd add that in there if, you, if that's true. Um, we'll come around and grab them. Thank you. Kids love Harry Potter. All right, mate, thank you so much for the great question and for everyone else in Broome, I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.